Okay, and just for the sake of showing that on stream so people can see, EX options, everything is turned off. No e EX options is allowed for this run, and nothing is turned on. Now I actually feel like I have to pee. Oh my god. I will, I will have to do that. I can't stop midstream. So yeah, one minute, guys. And I need all the support I can get from you guys in chat um, throughout the run. So if you feel like it, please uh, spam puck champs. Uh, even if you have if you have FFC, please use my emotes. When everything is going bad, use the fuck you emote that I make. I made. It's LB rage. Let me just throw that out there for those. Like when things are going nicely, you do this. When things are going shitty, you do this. Okay. Campaign. You ready? And we were going in three, two, one, go. Pineapple. Yeah, this level should be easy. And I'm doing a very different tactic uh, from the guy who has the world record. He's basically standing still in the middle and just turning to the direction of where everything is coming from and just dodging if there's coming any bullets. But I like to play it differently and also I feel like because my Android has this uh, ranged thing with her weapon I want to be standing as close as possible all the time and not just hang around in the middle waiting for them to, uh, to come uh, closer. So that is why I'm doing it like this. I should actually have waited for that to become red instead. There we go, that's a red one. And I hope at some point that Lord Wigtim will pop by. He's not online right now, so he's probably doing some real life stuff. Yeah, BM, I turned it off for this game, so you can't do any... Um, like, you can still do it, and it will probably still be on the queue for when I'm done playing this. But for now, you can't do that. Everything's dead. Okay, that was faster, half a second faster than my usual run. So we're already... <laughs> on first level, we're already making good time. But everything counts. Everything, even the half, se half a second. For speedrunning, you're talking frames, basically. Even for a game that is uh, like an hour long. But even more so when you're speedrunning games where you're talking about, you know, 30 seconds in game time and all that shit. But that's usually for buggy or glitchy runs where you cheat by, by glitching the game. Which is not cheating in speedrunning. That's just a clever mechanic. But you can't really do that for this type of game. No, I'm stuck. Oh, we want that red one. Oh, and by the way, uh, Overkill, if you're still in here, and I know you're probably for this game uh, partially watching or playing uh, Hearthstone yourself or something, and that's completely fine because it can be a bit repetitive. Um, but please, if you notice, 
that I messed up my, my time uh, splits at some point because I didn't notice myself uh, last time. So if you notice that, just uh, scream and shout so I can actually try and correct it um, as fast as possible. Even though you're kind of, if I mess uh, mess it up, I, I'm kind of fucked on my splits. The overall time is still good because you this uh, run is only counting from uh, beginning and then to the end. No, you know, splits in between. It's just for my own sake. I want to know where I'm messing up. But we are doing so nice. I minus four seconds already, and that's just on on one level gap. And I don't know if you know speedrunning in general is better to do, you know, off stream and just uh, you know, uh, recording it rather than when li live streaming. But I feel like it's kind of the same, even though the, the main difference is just that I talk a lot meanwhile playing it. Yeah, I and I. As I said, it's completely fine, and I would um, think that you were going in and out anyway, so... Okay, that was a bit slower, actually. 0 0.2 seconds slower. Oh, that was bad. One thing that's also a, a plus by using mouse, I guess, is when you have to respawn, you have to click the um, oh, the shoot button rapidly. And obviously you can do that a lot faster on a mouse than on a bumper um, on, on a controller. Like I'm using the bumper buttons to, uh, to actually shoot. But since this is play, played on PC, you can play it on Wii U and PlayStation as well. Um, so for those, controller is, you know, just what you use. But for PC, I guess it's there's there's no bracket difference anyway for what you peripheral you, you prefer. It's just a, a thing you, you, you choose, using one or the other. I'm not going for that battery, we don't need it. Uh, and it's inside a corner where I would just get trapped from picking it up, basically. Shit. Battery up. Tiny Everything's dead. Okay, first boss. Uh, don't mess it up now, Loudbot. This is easy stuff. I've done this... <laughs> So many times. There we go. Oh, that was stupid. I, I was trying to wait until it changed. But we got it. But as long as we don't die, that's the uh, main issue. Shit, and we did. <laughs> that's always when I die. It's basically always on here uh, because I have to be very close to him, and I just I wasn't close enough, so I got caught in it. Oh shit. Let's finish this. This is dead. Everything's dead. So our time is actually starting to uh, decrease. 
But there is a lot of places where um, I should be able to pick it up later on uh, because I did so bad in some of the levels that I should... Like, I, I did extremely bad and I should be able to do it way better. But honestly, I do feel... It does feel different from just when I'm playing by myself, you know, having fun with the game. And then actually doing something that counts, you know. And it's just my own record. Since there's nobody else who's been playing in this bracket, I do have the world record for this. But that doesn't say anything because I was the first one submitting. So I just want to make it better so that when somebody at some point is submitting a new record, um, they would have a harder time beating it. Oh, that was. Oh, they are all spread out here, and that's bad. last stretch and I'm actually keeping the S plus rank. There we go. Okay, so from here on I can't really see because I had to delete my split just uh, yesterday. What the fuck am I saying? Last time. Because it was I messed it up at some point so I couldn't use them. Um, I forgot to click or didn't press hard enough or whatever so it didn't record um, the, the splits in between levels. So from now on, I can't really see if I'm doing better or worse on each uh, segment. Yeah, and again, uh, BM, uh, thank you so much for using the jukebox. It's nice that somebody is using it, but again, I have it disabled for for this whole run. I will not uh, enable it because I need the music in this game. It is so nice, and I'm I'm just using it to get in the feel of uh, of the game. So, but when I'm done, I will re-enable it, and it should still save your uh, your tracks. So. So just so you know that they, they won't play for this uh, next hour or something. Over here. Hopefully I should be uh, over with the run in one hour. I mean anything above that will just be bad. But this is a very difficult uh, level to keep it going in, I think, because you have this uh, tank-like uh, glass thing in the middle um, that's blocking the path. So, so if, for example, you have uh, one enemy stuck on the other side of it, you have to run all the way around to actually get to him, and that will break your chain, uh, so you lose the S plus rank. For those who don't know, in order to get S plus, you obviously you can't die like I just did there, but you can't. Uh, like the chain kill has to go through the whole level. You don't, you can't miss any one enemy for more than a few seconds, and um, 
And that is quite difficult for most of the levels. The, the first world, it's pretty easy to do it in, but um, here. in this level, or world 2 and, and above, it's quite difficult. But if we beat my world record on this run, it will take some time to get it submitted or accepted. Last time it took way over a week, I think, for him to watch it and accept it. So I, I guess that's just usually how long it takes on speedrun.com. When it's these uh, type of unpopular games that, you know, there's only one moderator on it. So he has to check the runs. It's not like Crash Bandicoot or whatever. They that uh, game probably has a lot of moderators on it. I know that's a very popular speedrun game, so... You know, the old Crash games. Pretty! Everything's dead. Yeah, this is where I can really pick up some time. Where I just did so bad. Circles. Battery up. And I keep forgetting because I'm doing these fast runs, I don't really have to worry about batteries, so it's actually bad of me to to spend time hunting hunting them instead of just uh, leaving it. Like, when it's right next to me I can pick it up, but... Um, but yeah, hunting it is, is actually very bad. So I should just leave it right like now and I can pick it up when it's... coming next to me, like when I'm just moving around and I'll pick it up uh, automatically. Perfectly time stun for all these bees. Back here, there we go. Battery over here. Tiny robot. Everything's dead. Yeah, I one time instead of four times. So <laughs> definitely better. Establishing connection. Summoning the swarm. Seems like I must take care of that person. Nice. Oh, no. Oh. And stay down. Shit. Don't touch me. Battery here. My cage is getting scratched. And here I kind of have to stay on range because these bees will try to trap me on the wrong side so that I'm close to her and they um, like she will then melee me down. Okay, I actually lost that battery pickup but I don't think it's gonna matter as long as I 
Oh, it, it actually does matter. I think I'm gonna lose this uh, level. That's super, super... No! Ooh, we just made it in time, guys. That was... That was bad. But overall, I think I didn't uh, earn some time by doing it like that. But that was uh, scary. Yeah, and this again a level where I messed it up very badly. Because it's quite easy. I was just going too fast. Like I was thinking, okay, go fast, go fast, go fast, and I messed it up. As long as I stun them, I can move fast and freely. The laser, get the laser. Yeah, nice. We made it to the end without dying. That's what we want. Because this part, I mean, I shouldn't say that too much, but I should be able to stay alive here. Um, but you never know. But. There's always a huge chance of dying when you have mines. Simply because you, you might not see them and run right into them. Another very difficult lever here. <laughs> lever? <laughs> Level. Um, this, you're on a uh, train, tram, whatever kind of platform that's moving on a train track and it will uh, have like a laser you pass by several times that will cut everything um, like one shotting you so you have to stay behind either an enemy or the, one of these boxes and all the boxes will get ex um, like will explode and open up except for one and it depends on where you are placed uh, which one will will keep on the maps again that was um, mine death that just happens a lot to me because I'm moving around like this so sometimes it just spawns right as I'm going there and boom I die oh shit okay so now yeah the box is in, at this side so we kind of have to stay over here a bit so we don't just get owned by the laser there we go Okay, now the laser part is over, I think. When it shifts around like this. And movement speed is very nice in this level because whenever the camera shifts around, you will get thrown to one of the sides, you know, gravity thing. And if you have the movement speed bonus, you can kind of just move freely anyway. But now we can't anymore. Yeah, I can't move. Yeah, so I, I couldn't avoid that bomb. Oh, I want that stun. Nice. That was just way too many enemies all up in my grill. So I want to stun. <laughs> I hate dying right after I pick up a power up. I you then lose it. 
please get the laser down. There we go. But this is, uh, I'm doing quite bad on this level. Usually I am, but I've had a few runs where I do extremely well when just doing practice runs on this level alone. Uh, but obviously, or of course right now, where it counts, I'm doing quite bad. Everything's dead. Yeah, that was like 3 minutes, 10 seconds for that one level. This level is fun though. Uh, this red beam will damage me obviously, but also damage the enemies. So you can sometimes kind of use it to your advantage if you lure them onto it, but it's hard to work with. But yeah, me going down a few times throughout the run is to be expected. It's just whenever you have to start over on a, on a level, that is so bad. Because you obviously lose all the time that you spent on it then having to start over. And that just happens often for me on the last boss, which is the longest fight. And you, you don't want that to happen. So. I actually started liking the blue circle power up a lot now. Oh shit. Ah, oh, my upper lip is like itchy. All this dying. in the last part that's where's the last enemy stuck over here oh shit that was that was not so good Everything's dead. Another conveyable type of level where I can mess it up badly. And this one in particular, because it, you, you can't see it uh, as clearly as, as on the other one. And I know it's, it's easy for you guys to see, but when I have to pay attention to all these projectiles at once, and my character and, and my own weapon and all that, I will sometimes mess it up by going on the wrong, the wrong way around. What's going on here? When the bombs get onto the conveyor belt, they obviously move fast as well, so you get them thrown right into your face. Shit, I couldn't move.
keep that speed boost going. It's nice. Yeah, that laser just has to go down instantly. And again. speed bonus and going in the right way of the conveyor here it's quite crazy ah, damn bees at the end everything's dead okay third boss I think we're making quite good time actually when I see we're on almost half an hour now and we are way over half of the game complete but obviously the last levels will be the most time consuming and hardest ones and all that. I want this to change into blue, thank you. Just as I want it. And charge me and uh, <laughs> almost got caught in it. Uh, and again, he will charge. Move. So close. Unexpected resistance encountered. Activating additional units. Oh shit, it's all the way over here now. Switching oh, I want the blue one. Come on. Yes. I mean, it's not bad that it got. Fuck. That was okay. That was okay. Obviously could have been better by not dying that one time, but that was not bad at all. Okay, now we are kind of in the worst world in my opinion. Like the end, the boss of this world is just stupidly easy compared to the other ones. Again, I should not say stuff like that because it then usually karma strikes and it's bullshit. But, <laughs> and I hate these levels. Um, they are constantly changing all the time. And I just, I hate that. And they're quite long as well, compared to the other levels, so... And the big areas and all this. It's just, I don't like it. Especially not when playing this Android where I have to be close to everything. It's hard having a long. Oh, yeah, hey, uh, hey, Scouter. Yeah, actually, I noticed that because I think um, Steam has that as well 75% uh, off or something like that. So I'm actually really considering buying it. And I did tell you that I would buy it this month, and I probably will. The only thing is just. I actually don't have uh, that much dough this month. Um, it's look like boring work related stuff and all that, but uh, my company is actually moving to another city and my like my job is actually a bit sketchy right now, so I don't have as much money as I usually do and on top of it, you know, I have so many expenses for this trip. And on top of all the trip expenses, I have to donate 
um, fourteen hundred dollars, and I'm just not getting a lot from my Twitch, which I didn't, you know, plan on getting or hope to get anyway. So I would just, I feel bad or having a hard time justifying buying stuff for my own enjoyment when I have to pay so much money to um, to this organization, you know. So I am quite struggling with the. Uh, with buying, you know, fun stuff this month. I really, I needed an, a controller as well that costs like a hundred dollars, and I just, I can't really do that now. So that's why we are still attempting to do world record runs on this shitty, <laughs> broken controller here. But yeah, welcome to the stream, man. Always appreciate having you here. No! God damn it! Right at the end. That was precious seconds lost right there. Everything's dead. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, another level where we have to move. And mm, I learned not going too fast is the way to do it. Like, go steady, steady pace, but still make sure that you're not just running into bullets. And like this, I can't, I need to kill everything before moving on. Um, like they can't just hover out there in the air because it's gonna be hard for me to then kill them off. Battery over here. There we go, that was nice. But yeah, I think uh, because uh, it was a Steam weekend sale, right? So that's still on. And I think Humble Bundle, usually when Steam has a big sale, they buy a lot of codes and then put it on their website. So it's kind of a prolonged weekend sale thing. Okay, we are at the end now and it will shift around. And there will be some movement still. We're going up the elevator now and we we will then have to move again, but then we will have the camera behind us, and I love that part. Definitely the best of this uh, level. Here we go. Let's go. Stay out of grandma's house. That makes no sense though. Like, why would you say that? <laughs> it sounds nice and all, but why? Oh, there's still one. No, I got him. Fuck. Oh my god, why did I not move? Wasting so much time here. here. Yeah, I'm almost about to go down again. again. Up. Oh, almost ran into that as well. But how are you doing, man? It's been a while. I've also not been streaming. Um, I had that family stuff going down yesterday, that was the whole day, and when I came home I was not feeling like streaming at all. I actually, I did bad stuff, like I sh you know, you guys know about my whole Kilimanjaro trip and how I'm working out every single day. I just, I didn't feel it, and I actually drank some beers instead and just chilled out, having a few beers, got to bed super late, went into a coma, slept like 12 hours or something, <laughs> but I needed that, I really needed that. I had only slept like three and a half hours prior to going to all this family shit, so, and that was like the whole day. This is one of the nicer levels of this world. 
because it's just this small confined space and I like those. You don't have to worry about your moving around too much. He was just dodging bullets. But there will be more and more shit on it that will block you. And these guys, like the, the ghost type looking or these spectres, whatever you want to call them, they do a laser thing and all red lasers is one shotting you. I just don't like them because they will they are flying so they can fly outside of the like out of bounds on the map and it's hard to then get to them here. oh shit I'm stuck the toaster dog had me in his grip yeah, this laser uh, electrical thing that they're doing will pull me back into them Oh, another stun piece. Yes, thank you. Oh, oh shit! Oh, the scout already leave. He, maybe he just dropped the information and then uh, left again. That, and that's fine. He might. Oh, the scout is the person. He's so nice. He always opens up a lot of streams to help out, uh, especially extra life streamers. Um, which is the charity that everybody on Twitch should be following? Definitely. I mean, it's about healing kids, helping kids by playing video games. I mean, come on, why, why wouldn't you be part of that? Each time we're going down a level, the, it increases in size and we get more and more bullshit on, <laughs> on the map to block my shots. But I'm trying to keep to one side, so all the monsters will spawn here instead. Oh, well, you see, there's one stuck all the way out here. That's just annoying. Where is the last one? There, there. This is the worst level. Worst level of the game entirely. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And many of my first run through uh, of this game, I would actually fail like crazy on this and have to start over and stuff. Because you can only see the part of the level that you are standing on right now. Um, and when you move around, new, like, new tiles under you will spawn. And they will have these, um, like the walls that are blocking your shots. And I can't, you can't work out, you have to play the game or this level a lot of times to work out where they are. Because you can see them beforehand only when you go there. And then sometimes a monster or a whatever you call them, enemy will get stuck outside of the confinement, like of the map. So you have to move all the way there and there might be some of these walls in the way and yeah. It's just bad. I don't like it. Fuck. So I'm always performing very, very badly or poorly on this level. I'm stuck in here. Yeah, here I just want to stun as much as I possibly can. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, nice open space now. Like, the areas will be the same basically no matter where you are. It's a matter of how long into the map you are. It will then change. So now we have an open space no matter where I run to. But you still don't want to run too far away from where the action is going. 
so you spread out your, your spawns too much. Oh shit. I keep forgetting that uh, some of these, I don't know how to describe these, yeah. They will um, have bombs in them and others will have um, bees. And I keep forgetting to check the size of them to see which one it is. I just kill them and boom, we have bombs. This is so bad. I'm dying way too often here. Yeah, just keep stunning, keep stunning. We have a laser dude stuck all the way over here. Okay, at the end now. Oh, another stun, please let me get it. Phew! It was bad, but it wasn't horrible. Okay. The easiest boss of the game, in my opinion, especially when playing this um, Android. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I twitched and go uh, went right into it. I was even standing at the right space and everything and I just twitched my finger. What am I doing? I'm like running straight into stuff right now. Looks like it, <laughs> it's on purpose. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by these, so I'm moving a bit away. And I'm having a hard time aiming with this controller. So this is taking way too long. And we can't stun this part anyway, so we just want to wait. There we go. Oh wow, it spawned right under me. Couldn't do anything. Yeah, you see, I knew that was gonna happen. When I say stuff like this boss is the easiest one, I completely <laughs> mess it up and are uh, doing so bad on it. Uh, this aiming thing though is just the hardest part of it. No, 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 I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Oh, that was clutch. That was so close. Oh shit, move, 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 move. And don't hit the blue stuff. Okay, it was actually still on the level, even though you couldn't see it anymore. Last world. And this is Lord Victim's favorite level. 
And it is very nice, it's just super difficult. So many mines going on, and you can't really see. They're coming from, you know, the side of the map, but you can't really see where because it's all spinning around so fast. Again, these are the ones doing bombs and not bees. The last level of this world, not including the boss, like right before the boss, that's where I also failed uh, two times and had to start over. Um, where you have to battle Licorice on power and pick up the batteries before she do. And I just got very bad RNG, basically. Um, the batteries kept dropping right next to her instead of next to me, and so I lost two times in a row. And that's, you know, throwing away like 10, 10 minutes or something on your run time, so obviously you don't want that to happen. And this level can actually bug out in the, in the very uh, last part. They can get stuck outside the map, so you can only hit them with your power weapon. Which is a bit annoying. Um, but it didn't happen this time. Very nice. And this level is super interesting because you have this uh, help you can use. I'm so sorry if that burp was audible, but <laughs> I have no time to mute my microphone. It just I, I felt it coming, and, and yeah. Dang it! Oh yeah, you have big toaster dogs here which are also quite annoying because they do clusters of missiles oh yeah I need to be careful um, with those big fellas they're unique for this level, they will um, do melee strikes rather than uh, throw out bombs, so I need to then not stand too close to them. Oh, I'm actually missing a battery, shit! 
Yeah, I lost it. Hopefully, it won't be a problem. Yeah, it's not. Usually, it's only on the bosses that it's a problem if you lose uh, a battery. The drop chance uh, for batteries uh, will increase when your your own battery is uh, depleting. So you will basically always have a drop when you are about to run out. So it's just a matter of then killing enemies very close to you so you can get to it in time. Oh, I'm stuck. Fucking choke the dogs. That was time stun. He got stunned right as he was about to melee strike me, and those are also one shutting. Shit. And we have. Oh, I thought one was stuck. Everything's dead. <sighs> this is a nice level. It's difficult though, but it's nice. Basically, don't stand in the red, red stuff. And it will follow different patterns throughout the level, and at the end, it will follow you around. So you can't do any zigzagging, or you will just run uh, into it. So you have to keep uh, moving in like a fluid motion and not go back and forth. And after this level, we have the collider level, which is the one where we have to battle another android on battery. And we just don't want to mess that up. Toaster dog or something dragging me, and then I got me late. Yeah, movement speed is pretty nice in this level because, yeah, obvious reasons with the ground being oh, dam ground doing damage to you. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of concentrating here. Keep Blue stunning, circles. that's also good. Tiny here. Oh, and we actually managed to pick up the power up before dying, that's horrible. So it got lost. Fuck! Oh yeah, now they are following me. So it's kind of like a game of snake in the middle of all this. You can't cross the same line again. Oh, it will uh, damage you. But this just indicates that we're nearing towards the end of it. Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah. I knew that was going down. got stuck. This is so bad. I'm uh, dying way, way, way too much here. I actually thought I had no room to move on and that 
just made it out in time. But I feel like I've been uh, spending way too long on this level. I also, uh, yeah, now we're at the end, but this has taken a long time. I'm just dying way too much. Yeah, four minutes. Usually you want to spend under three minutes on each level. Okay. This is it. This is where everything can go uh, to, to shit now. And I got so mad the last time, and I think that's because... Like, I, uh, I was getting so mad at this level because it all went so badly, that when I got into the actual last boss, I was already in the mindset that this is all done. Like, I can redeem myself now. So I was, I was performing badly. But this run, I'm feeling not only more confident, but I'm also a bit more calm now. Oh shit shit shit, almost got caught. And uh, the other android will uh, come into place very soon. And we want to stun her a lot, we want to shoot her a lot with my power whip and all of that. Just completely uh, negate her of, of uh, playing so she won't pick up the batteries. I think it's like three or four batteries in a row you have to pick up. Uh, without her picking any, and uh, you should be fine. There we go. Oh yeah, she does the goddamn melee, and she already got the first battery. I mean, that is fine. It's it's more when she's very close to, to losing, and she picks one up or something, and you're kind of screwed then. Yeah, and you don't want to get hit by her melee. It will one strike you. Come on, the next battery, please. Battery and it, we got it. You can't stop what I've started. Oh, she doesn't get affected by the stun. And we got that battery too. You have no idea what you are fighting. Oh. <laughs> she didn't get me with her melee, but the other guy did. No. Oh, that was so close. Fucking hell, she got the battery right at the last fraction of a second. And we're back to 50% now. Damn it. That was so close. I was sure we had it. But as you saw, the battery landed on top of her. So I basically had no chance. Same thing. Same thing happened. So now this fight is taking way too long, but I can't reset now. It's That will destroy it. Because I was doing alright, now we both... Okay, this next battery pickup is gonna be it. Yeah. Okay. Still better than my original... Okay. This is now where I have to redeem myself. The last boss run. We can still make my 1 hour 10 time that I was hoping to get. Oh, that's bad. I want to get in. There we go. Oh, and the battery is stuck on him. Shit. Yeah, thank you so much, Overkill. That was, I mean, that was nice. We got it without having to restart. And and that's the main thing. What cost me so much time the last run. I restart like uh, two times on that boss or that fight, so. Do not interfere. Is 
easy. I can basically negate all the damage by doing that super attack thing. Oh, fuck, I'm, I messed it up. I should have used my super right at the end there when picking it up. Shit. Here. I will not falter. Okay, this is the hard part where I don't want to get hit by anything, please. That was solid. That was solid. Okay, I, I tried using the power to go over it. Oh, give me the stun, please. Fucking hell, why did I... I can't go that close to this boss. Oh, another stun. Remember to kill off these. Annoying. Should we have a yeah. Okay, I'm trying to wait for this to become a blue. Boom. Come on, this is the last part. Now I know what to do. Shoot the triangular one so they can't use any damage on you. You die, you die. All shall be one. Oh, yeah, I'm trapped. Shit. Yeah, we'll, I'm not making this, I think. Fucking hell. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is where I get angry because now I have to start over this whole level. <sighs> I mean, that was perfect up until that fucking last part. I hate it. And, oh my god, now I lost them. The zone that I was in. Over here. Let's finish this. Is that all you've got? Oh my god, you're about to see a very salty uh, love button in a second here. Do not interfere. I've sacrificed too much. Oh, 
disappointing. Battery up. I will not falter. in it fucking hell and I don't get no <sighs> shit only I can alter this destiny Oh, I got it down as fast as I possibly could there. It didn't get to shoot me at all. And that could have been under 110 if I didn't mess it up before on that boss. Even in a weakened state, if she figures out what we're doing, she'll destroy the ship. Then we stabilize the core psyche during the procedure. I almost freaked the fuck out there. That was so close on the last, like on the last attempt at that boss, like the, the very last one here where I got it. That was solid. We got that like no problem. I had a lot of battery to spare because I now know where the um, the actual lasers 